Welcome back to Top Deck Gaming, everyone. We have the brand new Galar Collection. We got Sobble. We got Score Bunny. And we got Grookey. Me and Momo here, we're going to go ahead and open each of them. And yeah, I believe there's four packs in each of them. Three promo cards in each of them. A pin in each of them. And an oversized promo card in each of them. So if you want, we'll go ahead and we'll crack them open one by one. But we'll leave the packs and we'll open up all the packs at the end. So here is the Sobble Galar collection. You want to go ahead and open up one? or? I'll, so I'll go ahead and open up the Sobble. I'll Grookey. She's going to open up Grookey. Look at these other names, I swear. Uh, the Pokemon Company. So there's that. All right. Now, let's see. So I'm glad that I actually got one uh, Zamazenta. Which is this guy here? There's there's a bunch of these over there at Target too. Yeah. Um. All right. So that's pretty cool. I can't get this out. We'll put this over here. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Okay, got it. Struggle's not that real. All right. So here's the promo cards from the Sobble Gaylord Collection. Here's Sobble. This is the promo for Sobble. He is promo number three of Sword Ooh. and Shield. Oops. Oh, did you leave the... Oh, you left the promo in there. Not it. So, hey, hey. little one. She's so like I hi. said, he's promo <laughs> number three from Sword and Shield. You maybe probably could have done this in order. And then it goes into the base set Sword and Shield um, score bunny, number 31 out of 202, and Grookey, number 11 out of 202. I believe these are alternate arts from what's going to be in the actual set. So, so we'll what's see. This, what's this, what's this? So that one right there, and we can show that one off. So there's these promos. And Momo just opened Grookey, which Grookey is promo number one of Sword and Shield. Black Star promo number one of Sword and Shield. Um, it's a different art, as you can see, than you would get in the Sword and Shield base set. So, Sobble and Score Bunny, I believe, are the same. No, I lied. Sorry. Score Bunny will be the same. The Sobble was a promo in that set. So, Sobble is number 55 out of 202 for the Sword and Shield set. I think, oh, that's pretty cool. I think they have descriptions of the Pokemon down here. When it uses its special stick to strike up a beat, the sound waves produced carry revitalizing energy to the plants and flowers in the area. Isn't that adorable? Does it say the same thing on this card? I don't know. Yes, it does. Okay. Sobble. <clears throat> when scared, this Pokemon cries. Its tears pack the chemical punch of 100 onions, and attackers won't be able to resist weeping. Oh Oof. my god, can I have that ability? Skill. Why would you want that? <laughs> and then <funny>. Score Bunny. <laughs> A warm-up of running around gets fire energy coursing through this Pokemon's body. Once this happens, it's ready to fight at full power. Can I have that one? <laughs> hey, I'm training for a 10k and I still have expanded. So here are the two legendary Pokemon that will be in the Galar region of Sword and Shield. Zama, Zenta, V, and Zacian. Well, Zamazena and Va Zacian. The new cards for Sword and Shield are V cards, which is kind of like an EX and a GX. You get, when it's knocked out, you get two prizes. Um, everything about the card right now, we don't know. Um, I think we know now. Uh, you can look on YouTube, but as of right now, there's nothing on this card. All you can see is the attacks, which this one does Brave Blave for 230. This one has Assault Tackle for 130. So that's pretty cool. Go back there. Oh, she's got the Grookey pin. I've got the Sobble pin. This is mine. Okay. It's adorable. Oh, here you can... Yay! And each of these has four packs. Two Cosmic Eclipse. One... Evolutions, because why not? And in Unbroken Bonds, these are probably the three best packs that you could get. They're not Evolutions. Evolutions is... Sorry. Right. Right. So those can go on the floor. And then we have our Score Bunny 
collection right here. Having problems there. Yeah. I still can't believe we pulled that. Yeah, so ours aren't in there, right? Mm. It just dropped in place considerably. Oh, I'm sure it has. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, man. Why, it's taking me a while to open this up. I do apologize for that. Hurry up. I know. All right. And the score bunny will be promo number two of Sword and Shield. It should say the same thing. Yeah, it says the same thing. I believe it does not have the same attack, though. And then here is the other two cards from Sword and Shield. So those are all the cards. You get promos one through three for Sword and Shield. So if you are going to be collecting all the promos in Sword and Shield, this is the perfect time to start because these just came out. And these are the very first ones and the only ones. So let's see. We have this should be six packs of Cosmic Eclipse. Three of Unbroken Bonds and three of Evolutions. Alright, so go ahead and pick three packs of Cosmic Eclipse. Okay, so I get these three. <laughs> go ahead and pick uh, three of any of those packs. All right. You said you like unbroken bonds better. And then I'll open these three. Don't do. Bless you. <coughs> Shut up. <coughs> I'm dying. All right. Usually, all right. You're good. Yeah. So okay. Just dying a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Okay, your turn. Go ahead. Oh my gosh. I'm trying not to knock it over because I'm. Yeah, don't knock the camera over. Well, I don't mean to, but I'm wearing lots of fuzzy socks and I'm freezing. Supposed to be like, how cold is this supposed to be over here tomorrow? 39? Uh, like 40s, yeah. Since when does Florida get that cold? Here, we'll show it anyways. There's the code card. Is this still, is this still the same thing? Yep. Okay. Evolutions is the only one that will be different. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, energy. Whoa. How'd you move? Poke it here. Baby. Okay, sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? Triple hook cell energy. A tentacruel. Salad. Blame you. Diglet. Polyway. Inke. Murkrow. And a Persian. There. So this is three? Evolutions will only be three, yeah, because it's an X and Y series. A little sacred, so or so yeah, green it's card. Different. But you can still get a break card in evolutions. So <laughs> still that anywhere. One, two, three. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. My bad. Didn't mean to cover them. Uh, did I do it already? Yep. Okay. Sorry. Still energy retrieval. So if you didn't know, evolutions is a reprint of the very first set to ever be printed back in nineteen. 90 something. Six? Something like that? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Energy. Pikachu. Growlithe. See, I told you, you can still get a break. We got Ninetales break card. That's a good one. Awesome. That's different. So that's like a. Um, well, I, I wouldn't say it's like a Prism Star. Breaks are. They're different. You can't use they're them, good. right? No, you can't use them in standard. You can still use them in expanded. Oh, okay. And the same thing with this one, three cards. Mm -hmm. Code card. One, two, three. Yep. Okay. I kind of like these the design a lot better. Oh, wow. Secret Rare that's Executor. In, that's in a different language. Mm -hmm. It's a secret rare. But you can use these? No, Cause, that no. one you cannot use. No. Okay. Sanctu, Polyrug, Diglett. Oh, oh, another break. Look at that. Nido King break. You're getting all the breaks. And a Doug Trio. Diglett and Doug Trio. So you can't use... You can't use that one. It's a secret rare, and it's... 
I don't think you can use that. I could be wrong. But... That's fine. I'm just. It's actually really. I think it's really cool. It's like two different. Mm-hmm. La- it's two languages. Yep. That's awesome. I've never seen that before. I like it. Don't ever lose that one. Okay. Or don't ever trade it. Okay. Thank you. That works for me. I don't care. You like it, I'll do it. Thank you, baby. I appreciate you. There's the code card. Cosmic Eclipse. We just opened up a bunch of Cosmic Eclipse packs, and all the code cards were... I'm not going to show the code card. All the code cards were weird. So you got a green code. Sometimes you got a hit. You got a white code. You got nothing. It was weird. Pyroar. Rufflick. Piplup. Alolan Bullface. Rock Ruff. Stuffle. Crab Rawler. And a Drampa. So, that was this one, right? Yeah. So, that was a green code. That was a normal pack. Do you want me to separate them? No. Uh, yeah, let's separate them. Because I'm going to end up doing it anyways. Well, that's all cosmic right there. Yeah, this is all cosmic. Oh, I There's the code card. These are my packs. Hold on, those two, three, four. Energy. Absol. Flareon. Roller Skater. Pikachu. She's chasing her tail again. She is chasing her tail. I can hear her. Flip Baby. <laughs> Ultra Necrozma Reverse Rare. And a Groudon. It's an Ultra Beast. Mm-hmm. Tis an Ultra Beast. It's my last one. Oh, your last pack. Yep. Last pack. Are you going to spin her again? Poor dog. She's doing it for herself right now. Oop. <laughs> you knocked it. Oh, she hit the camera? Yeah. Oh. Okay, last pack magic here for Momo. For her opening here. Crap rolling. Carvana. Chin Chow, Azura, Roughly, another Statland. Yeah. And an Alolan Sand Slash. You got two breaks and a character card. That's pretty good. Where's the. Is it right here? Oh, uh, yeah. No. Nope. No, no, Dang it. That's okay. Sorry. All good. All right. Awesome. Now it's my turn. Yep, your turn. My your turn. turn. I gotta stand up. Yes, you do. Okay. All right, we'll go earliest to newest, so we'll go Evolutions, Unbroken Bonds, and then Cosmic Eclipse. I love Evolutions. I opened up a bunch of it when it first came out. Actually, it, I started getting back into Pokemon when it was already out. But this is a good card. There's another Secret Rare, Imakuni's Doduo. This one is not legal. Why? It's just, I don't know, there's something weird about it or something. Like, in the... In the um, Ooh, another psychic energy. In the description, there was something weird about it. Growlithe, Machop, Coughing, and a Clefairy holographic. So, this holographic pattern would look almost identical to the base set, except the borders would be a little bigger. Um, huh. Yeah. That's why. What does it say? Harmonize. From the moment you use this attack, you must begin to sing a song. While the song is being sung, the game continues. <laughs> when the song is finished, the attack does 30 damage. <laughs> and it says, Pokemon Power Frenzy to escape. When this Doduo retreats, hold this card and throw it as hard as you can because Doduo is running away. Throw the card horizontally with a snap to get the farthest distance. That is weird. <laughs> Super weird. That's hilarious. Well, it even says it there. This card cannot be used at official tournaments. Oh, okay. Litten. Froakie. Well, see, there you go. That's funny. Crab Brawler. It'd be a very Oddish. loud auditorium if people were using that. Oh, I agree. Poke here. Triple Acceleration. Spritzy. I wonder what people are saying. And a, a secret rare electromagnetic radar. Look at you. We struck gold. You struck gold. Uh, we struck gold. Clearly, you have better pack magic this round. And yeah, last round, too. Round. That's okay. I'm sleepy. You're sleepy. Uh, I wish I wasn't working tomorrow so I could enjoy this nice 40 degree weather. Right? So I'll be outside in a cold fixing machines. I'll be inside a hospital. Actually, probably mostly cleaning the shop. But Croker Oak, Beast Bringer, Pitmontop, Vicavolt, and a Gengar. 
If you have exactly six prize cards, I used that card in my deck t this weekend. Did you? Yep. If you have exactly six prize cards remaining, and if your opponent's attack active Pokemon GX or EX knocked out by damage from the attack of an Ultra Beast, this card's attached to take one more prize card. So you can take up to possibly four prize cards? Yeah. And that happened a lot, actually. With you using this? Mm -hmm. So if I knock out a tag team yeah. as my first knockout, and I have six prizes remaining, I get four prize cards. Because the tag team, you usually only get three. Yeah. So my deck's purpose, and let me just show you something real quick. And I already made a video about my deck's purpose and how it's supposed to be played. Kind of like a deck profile. Yeah. Um, so I used this deck this weekend, this past weekend at Daytona. Nagano Del Gus Lord. Now what this guy does, um, his GX attack is really good. When you use his GX attack, if you have one dark energy and one psychic energy in addition to the attack cost, so you need three total energy, then you can flip all your prize cards over and take two prize cards. When you use it in conjunction with Beastbringer, and you are have and you haven't used your GX attack yet. Beast Bringer, you knock out a tag team, you get four prize cards immediately. The next turn, you can immediately use your GX for your last two prize cards. And you win the game. So you play this. Yep. Okay. Cricket top. Woo bat. Ducklet. Now a lot of the time you don't knock out a tag team because like me, I played card like people that well ooh, so Galio and Lunala. So I played a lot of people that didn't play any GXs or tag teams, which is a really tough to beat, especially with this deck. Yeah, it's just slower and not as quick. You can try to disrupt them, um, but it's just it's tough to beat it, especially with uh, the card welder that's in, in the format. It's, it's really tough to beat. So wait, not many people are playing tag teams? They are. They are, but I hit, I hit the decks that weren't. Yeah. I guess it makes it harder because there wasn't that many people also there as well as last The deck year. that won the tournament, which was Gardevoir and Sylveon, did not hit any Welder decks. So kinda... If it had hit Welder decks, which is almost its worst matchup, it would not have won. I see, I think that's the one. Every deck that I played, every single deck I played was a Welder deck. I think that's what it is. Like late, like last time we were talking about it, like the first time I went to Daytona, there was over 800 people competing, and you were only playing nine rounds. So you're only playing nine out of the 800 people that are there. Mm -hmm. So it's just like you just win against those people, you technically win the whole tournament, which is in a weird. It's just a little bit weird in my mind too, because I get it. Like it just cuts in half and dwindles down, but mm -hmm. I don't know. It just like I guess you get. Lucky if you happen to be playing against, like you said, the opponent that doesn't have wasn't exposed to the welder. But if he had it, probably would have not. He wouldn't have made it. Mm -hmm. But you still did much better than last time. Ooh, we got Torkoal character card in a Wubat. Swubat, sorry, Swubat. Why does that look so different? Mm. It looks trippy. This? Yeah, oh, it looks super trippy. Oh. All right. Well, so that was all the packs from the three premium collections. Was it? No, Galar collection. The three Galar collections. We got an Electromagnetic Secret Rare Prequel. We did not get this. We got a Lunala Sogalio Tag Team. Um, Torkoal. Stoutland. Momo got some breaks. And yeah. So that was it for this opening here are all the promos technically so here is number two here's number one yep and here's number three and the rest should be the same two of each hey. the rest should be two of each card big baby big baby all right so like i said here if you're going to pick up any of these collections there is grookey score bunny and sobble and then this is what the Sword and Shield card will look like. Maybe this might be an alternate art. Or it could just be a hollow version of it. Well, I'm hitting the camera. Okay. Other than that, that's it for this video. I hope you liked the opening from the new Galar collection that's out. Um, if you're going to start collecting these Sword and Shield promos, this is the perfect time. Because this is the very first products that have come out. So, 
Yeah, that's it. Isn't there another one coming out soon? Probably. I thought you said there was something out in like a November or something like that, or December. Oh, yeah, the, the Sword and Seal base set is going to come out. Um, when did the last set come out? Uh, November? So, November, yeah. So, yeah. November, December, January. So, either January or February, the base set, Sun and, base set Sword and Shield will come out. So, yeah. That's it for this video. I will see you all in the next video. And uh, hit the like button for us. So, uh, land that subscribe button and hit the bell. <laughs> we'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What's that, girl?